hello guys i hope all is well it's been a while since i posted a video on youtube or tiktok for manala's arc it's been like three months but here is one thing now i'm so grateful that even after being away from the community for so long i'm still getting the consistent number of viewers to the channel which means there are people who still visit the channel to rewatch old videos and they still like they still subscribe i'm gaining subscribers also that is amazing guys that is amazing like you don't know how much i appreciate that um this channel why was it created i remember i created this channel as a way of providing extra classes for my learners so i'm a i am a real educator at the physical school i teach maths for grade 8 10 and 11 this year and so i'm still going to use this platform as a way for their extra classes so um but i do appreciate everyone who's watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video it means a lot to the community so um now the topic that we are on now for grade 10 it's equations with equations now we have different types of equations right so people who are on this topic now they have definitely learned about algebra they've learned about exponents for this year so here we have linear equations we will talk about that we have quadratic equations we have equations with fractions we have simultaneous linear equations and we have literal equations so those things shouldn't be a problem to you so let's get straight to it now let's go to uh, some few examples and i'll give you some questions to attempt on your own and then we move on so here we have um, an example for linear equations guys so but then we have to explain when we talk about linear equations what are we talking about here we are talking about any equation that has a variable and the highest exponent for the variable it's one that's a linear equation so you see in this equation we have k the highest exponent for k is 1. And also we have another k here. The highest exponent for this k is 1. So now in this case, if you, uh, I mean not if, since you are from grade 9, you've been working with equations and you know now how to calculate equations. So now when I start my examples, I want us to start with something as, as easy as this one, right? We don't want to start in a situation whereby we have things like that and then we are like solve for x. I mean, that's basic. We all know what to do here. You just transpose the 2 to another side and then therefore your x will be 3, right? So we don't want to work with equations like that. They are of, they are of no use to us. We want to start with something more meaty, more uh, fitting for a grade 10 learner, right? So now, let's get back to this one. Here we are supposed to solve for k. We have k on the left side, we have k on the right side. So the first thing to do here, in fact, not here, but every time whenever you're working with an equation or an expression, you want to make sure that you always keep in mind that there's a rule called the Bodmas rule, right? Whereby you deal with what's in the bracket if you can, and then you remove the brackets, and then you divide multiply add before you subtract things like that right okay so now here the three the three will stay like that and then now we have to remove the bracket by what by distributing the negative four not a four it's a negative four you call it along along with its sign right so now negative four multiplied by k that is negative four k so four k right and then you have negative 4 multiplied by 2 there you're going to get negative 8 right this is equal to you have your 3k this side plus 60 that way right and then from there you separate the knowns from the unknowns so when you talk about the knowns and the unknowns these are specific values but then you'll get to understand them here when we talk about the knowns, we are talking about the numbers that are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the knowns. These are the things we know. And the unknowns, it's anything that's a variable. Depending on what you are working with it at the time. Oh, sorry guys, let me charge my laptop. Oh yes, um, the laptop is charged now. Yes, we were talking about the knowns and the unknowns. So, this part we are saying it's the knowns because these are the numbers. 
the numbers that we know in an equation. So in this part, three is a known. Uh, let me come here. Three is a known. Eight, negative eight, it's a known. And 16 is a known because these are numbers that we know, right? And then we have unknowns. In this in this section, our unknown is k because k is the variable that we don't know what is the value for k. So in a linear equation, we want to separate the knowns from the unknowns. So anything that's a variable on one side and anything that's a number to the other side. So now, uh, where are we? Yes, here. Yeah. So now, in that case, negative 4k, we want to keep it on the left side. So it will stay here on the left side, negative 4k. And then this part of negative 3, it must go to another side. I mean, this part of 3k must go to another side such that we get negative 3k. Equals to, because these are all numbers that have variables that we know. And then 16 was already on the right side, so it stays as positive 16. 8 has to go to another side, so when it gets to the right side, it becomes positive 8. Positive 3 has to get to another side. When it gets here, it becomes negative 3. So every time every time you transpose a number, it changes the sign. Basics, right? Basics from grade 9. So negative 4 and negative 3, it's supposed to give you how much? Negative 7k, right? And then uh, 8 minus 3, how much is that? That is 5. 5 plus 16, that is 21, right? How do we remove k, negative 7 from k? We divide by negative 7, and we also divide the side by negative 7. Therefore, the three dots represent, therefore, of course, basics. It, uh, k is equal to 21 divided by negative 7, that is negative 3. Right? The basics, guys, as we know them, right? So now let's move on to the next one, to the next one. Now we want to choose something a little bit more challenging, of course. Okay, let's do that. Um, where's my mouse? Okay, right there, right there. Okay, so here's a question here. Let's say you get a question like this one now. Here you have fractions and the basic thing that you're supposed to do here is to solve for x, obviously. So x is our unknown and every number is unknown there. So now the problem in this case is that now we have fractions, right? We were not working with fractions before, but then here we are now with fractions. So the first thing that we want to do is to deal with these fractions. I mean, the, the denominators, right? We have a denominator of 3, we have a denominator of 6, and a denominator of 2, right? So now, in this case, we want to find something called the LCM, the lowest common multiple of 3, 2, and 6. Now, I bet you all know about the LCM now. I mean, you're in grade 10, right? So, which means uh, the lowest common multiple of 2, 6, and 3, how much is that? That is 6, right? So, since the LCM now, it is 6, we are going to multiply every part of this equation by the LCM. So, let's do that. First, we identify that our LCM it's equals to 6, right? And then we multiply every part by the LCM now. So which means when I have 4x minus 1 all over 3, I'll multiply this by numerator 6. And then this minus here, I put it here. I have 7x plus 2 all over 6. I'll multiply this also with what? With 6. Numerator 6, right? And on the right side, I have x over 2. I'll multiply this also with 6. So every part now had to be multiplied with 6 because we are already multiplying the uh, one part of the equation with 6. Whatever you do on one part of the equation, you have to do it on all the terms. That's how things go. All terms from left to right. Right? So now, and then what are we going to do here? Now we go to the cancelling part. Um, let me choose a different color here so that you may see it. Let's choose this color. So here... 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 6 two times, right? And then here, 6 goes into 6 once, and 6 goes into 6 once, right? And then here, 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 6 three times. All set. And then now we work with that now. So we no longer have a denominator in this fraction. We are just left with 4x minus 1. 
just for x minus 1 multiplied by the 2 here multiplied by 2 then there's a minus minus we have 7x plus 2 but then because there's a minus here the 7x plus 2 has to be in bracket because then minus has to apply to this whole binomial right this is equals to and then i have x multiplied by what is left here i'm left with the 3 there multiplied by the 3 there are no more denominators after multiplying with the lcm the main purpose for that was to remove all denominators and then from here we can distribute now we can distribute the 2 to the 4x 2 times 4x we get how much 8x and then positive 2 times negative 1 that is negative 2 and then here we distribute the negative to all the terms that's the whole point so negative times 7x that is negative 7x negative times 2 that is negative 2 this is equals to x times 3 that is 3x right and everything that is a known we put it on one side everything that is an unknown we put it on one side but then we want to start here first 8x minus 7x that will give us what x right um and then negative 2 and negative 2 that gives us negative 4 and then we have a 3x there and then we'll bring the 3x to this side now when you bring 3x to another side it becomes what negative 3x this is equals to you take the negative 4 and send it to the other side it becomes what a positive 4 right and then now here you have x minus 3x the answer is negative 2x it's equals to 4. now how do you solve for x you divide by negative 2 divide by negative 2 therefore uh, the negative 2 cancels the negative 2 you're left with x it's equals to 4 divided by negative 2 that is negative 2. easy as that guys so i hope that won't be a problem please make sure you go and practice um, all problems that have to do with linear equations so let me give you something to do for linear equations so that you don't just get bored uh, let me give you some questions there let me see so here are the questions guys um this is an activity that you, i need you to try on your own please pause the video and see if you can solve all the equations it's so easy guys this shouldn't be a problem and then uh, make sure that you get everything right. And then after that, if you have a problem, um, you can tell me and then I'll do these things for you. But I don't think there should be every problem. Because of, first of all, this, this one here, this is basic grade 9 linear equations. And then this one, it looks complex, but it's not. If you apply all the Bottmore's rules, it works. And this looks like the last example we just did now. So uh, please attempt them and uh, try to see if you can get them right. Thank you.